recreating the fog of war, or at least attempting to. These are everyday civilian Ukrainians who have volunteered to fight against Russia's occupation of their country, spending the next few weeks at this military base in England to learn the basics of how to become soldiers. I want my children, grandchildren, will live in free, independent and flourishing country. This recruit, who goes by the nickname Zakhar, says his motivations are deeply personal as well as patriotic. My friend was killed in Odessa. That's why it's also my aim to revenge for him, uh, because we know that a lot of uh, common, unguilty people are dying under the bombardment. The aim, at least initially, is to give 10,000 Ukrainians basic military training over the coming months. I mean, it's been humbling, absolutely. Uh, they are really motivated, all of them. Uh, I've not seen one yet who's put his hand up and went, no, I don't want to do this. The, their will to win is fantastic. Within weeks, Canadian forces will join the British as trainers here, part of an international alliance of this UK-led training programme. Up to 225 soldiers from Canada for a four-month commitment, most from the 3rd Battalion of Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry in Edmonton. Some are already here and getting ready to start. It's a, a pretty profound thing uh, when you think about it. Um, so what it means for us is it's really important to deliver hard, realistic training for the short time we have them and, uh, and uh, I guess prepare them for what lies ahead. This will be a resumption of Canada's Operation Unifier training mission, but now with much higher stakes. It was paused when Russia invaded Ukraine in February. Over the previous seven years, Canadian forces had instructed 33,000 Ukrainian soldiers and security personnel. Canadian Special Forces are also on the ground in Ukraine, conducting training exercises there too. Redmond Shannon, Global News, in the southeast of England.